Freedom, liberty, democracy. That is our motto. That is our way of life. This is the way of Hell Divers. My, 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 this game came out of absolutely nowhere and blew me the hell away. I first heard of Helldivers 2 uh, on Instagram Reels, surprisingly. I thought that was like a marketing strategy. Just people posting videos on Instagram about Helldivers 2 and all the edits with like uh, on Malevolent Creek and everything just hooked me into the world of Helldivers 2. And actually, fun fact, I do have the first Helldivers on the PS4, but I never actually uh, figured out what it was because I the game cover didn't really intrigue me and I had zero understanding of the English literacy of of, of understanding English in general so just blew across my radar but looking back on it, it is quite a glow up from the first one to the second one Helldivers 2 is a third-person shooter developed by Arrowhead Studio. Goddamn, I have uh, so far at the time of recording this, uh, clocked in about 30 hours of managed democracy. And my goodness has it been a blast! The game is so f***ing fun, it's uh, absolutely crazy. The shooting feels amazing, the gameplay is fun as hell, and you can call down orbital cannons as like a support weapon. You can call down nukes, and the power of the f***ing sun! It's a laser, but you know what I'm saying. Plus, you can cross-play with PlayStation players and PC players together, and it plays smooth as hell. Xbox players, we are in dire need of your assistance. We will be waiting. I'm speechless, man. <laughs> you know the feeling of playing an actual fun shooter with your friends again? Man, uh, back in maybe 2018, 2019, I was grinding my ass away in Warframe 2. Oh no, Warframe 2, what the? I was grinding away in Warframe with all of my friends, like uh, in the dojo, 1v1ing each other, doing the speed one track, and just Bye. doing hide and seek in the headquarters of the clan. And our friends had our group and whatnot, and that was very fun to look back on it as well. And another shooter that me and my friends spent the majority of our time in was uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I think I clocked in about uh, 650 plus hours of Rainbow Six Siege. I regretted every second of it. But good things come to an end. And don't be sad that it's over. Be happy that something new will happen in the future. Enter Helldivers 2. A legend. Now, there is a lot to unpack in this game. Uh, you take the role of a hell diver, right? Uh, uh, essentially, a space soldier in a space war, in a Star war. Your job is to spread managed democracy, which is just uh, shooting robots and bugs, and that's all there is to the game, story-wise anyway. Now, let's talk about gameplay. The galaxy of Helldivers 2 is so cool to me. When you look at each planet in the uh, galactic map, you can see the per uh, percentage of liberation for each planet. And some planets are marked uh, as a liberation campaign. Now, how do you increase the liberation percentage of a certain planet, you might ask? Well, by bringing hell to our enemies.
In a match, you have several tools at your disposal. You have your primary weapons, your secondary weapons, grenades, and then you have your stratagems for your support. That can be orbital cannons, airstrikes, lasers, f***ing napalm. You can call these weapons down whenever you want. However, there's a cooldown following the usage of that stratagem. I'm biting the f***ing shit out of my mouth. That hurts like hell. The shooting in this game is so fun, man. You can see the each individual pieces that you shot off of the enemy. You shoot a robot like you shoot a goddamn, uh, the hell? Oh, the automaton, yeah. You can shoot an automaton to kingdom come and oh my goodness, the f***ing body just... <laughs> Same with the bugs, so you shoot a bug's legs out, it starts like crawling or whatnot. You shoot the bugs like back out, it slowly starts falling or whatnot. And you shoot a bug's head out, sometimes they will still keep f***ing coming for you. And that shit's terrifying. I love starship troopers. Starship troopers? What the f***? Yields to business. What the f*** is that? It is simply a great time. Okay, well, let's talk about fascism. <laughs> Heavy emphasis on the military power of that country and spending most of, most of its country budget on the military. This game essentially advocates for that but for Super Earth and it works triple the goddamn military budget right now. But for real though, the game has very uh, similar theme and tone to Starship Troopers which is a film that is a f***ing masterpiece. <laughs> It's a film that uh, essentially uh, warns the people about, you know, fascism and how a generation of, uh, you know, population can just be brainwashed into serving the country because of fascism and propaganda. And yes, I did watch Starship Trooper just because of that hype from Helldivers 2 and it was a good decision. I still love the movie. Well, too much political talk. Let's talk back about... Let's talk about the fun little patriotic details in Helldivers 2. So right after you finish the tutorial of the game, uh, you get to name your ship and the combinations you can get from like combining two words like blank of blank and it's f***ing amazing. <laughs> they are, the names are so patriotic, it's f***ing crazy. Here, here's a few that stands out especially to me. Okay, the first one that really comes to mind is uh, Paragon of the Stars because that's my uh, ship name but you can have a ton of customization. My goodness, Jesus Christ. The Herald of Justice. The Herald of Mourning. That's f***ing badass, bro. The Judge of Mourning. Yeah, the judge of Opportunity. That yeah? sounds a bit like a business opportunity. The Judge of Patriotism. The Judge of Self-Determination. Sovereign of... Super Titan of the Regime. Fascist? That's patriotic. <laughs> it's so it's so self-aware is what I mean because in reality super earth the planet that you're fighting for is the bad the bad guys essentially <laughs> It's like starship troopers. It's like these these alien species are living peacefully among their own like colonies and space and planets and whatnot And then here comes super earth comes in and says you we're taking you for your resources And then props and propaganda for people to join in and essentially fight for being colonists, but yeah I feel love this game it's so fun, it's so cool. And just the names are patriotic. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> just the names of the ship are already, already, already. Huh? Just the ship names are already very patriotic. And the tips in the game are also pretty patriotic. And another aspect of the game that I really, really love is the community. Because the community was the thing that really pulled me into Helldivers 2. And just. It's this moment, uh, at the time I'm as of recording this is when we just taken back Tian Quan. Tian Quan. Tian, Tian, Tian Quan. At the time of recording this, we just took back Tian Quan. We, yes, in the Hell Divers, we just took it back. And we got the Exo Stooge, which are the Max, the Titans, you know. And that, and that made me want to play Titanfall 2. And I f***ing hate Respawn Entertainment for pouring so much resources into Apex Legends. Man, what could have been? What could have been? But yeah, just that moment of unity alone, Makes you feel like you're a part of this campaign. Makes everyone in the game like they're a part of the game. Like they're a part of the liberation, which they are. Because everyone's contribution to the campaign and to the war increases the percentage of liberation throughout the entire galactic map. And that shit is so cool and so fun to see. Because when you're playing or not playing, you look at the galactic map, you hover your mouse above like one of the planets, you can see the liberation percentage slowly going up bit by bit. And you know in the subconscious that, hey, there's a group of Helldivers out there liberating a planet right now and they need our help. 
they need your help. Patriotism, fascism, the same what thing. <laughs> and that moment of unity makes it really fun to see in action. Because when you're randomly playing alone, you can have other people join in on your uh, server and just play with you, have fun, support you. And you can do the same for other people as well. You go into the collecting map, press quick play, and then you'll be selected randomly to join a random server and help them out. That can be a high level hell diver, a low level hell diver. Who gives a f you don't care. We are united to fight against f***ing bugs and robots. And what I want to know, what I want to say is that like this is live service game f***ing done right. It pulls you in every day just to see how far along the entire uh, player base have progressed to. And in the midst of all these AAA games releasing and becoming just f shitty games like Suicide Squad, the, the, the quadruple A game, goals and bones, who gives a shit? They're not that fun. They're not fun, they are made to make money. You can just feel it. You go in and then you're like, pay for this to do that, pay for this to do that, pay for this. I'm here to relax and play games and shit, bro. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't get that with other games, but I get that with Helldivers. There's, there's a store in Helldivers too, and the microtransaction in the game is barely noticeable because everything you do when you liberate uh, a, cer a certain planet or when you finish a, a certain mission, you get rewards and you can use those rewards to buy items that you want because that's how a f***ing game should work that's how games been working since like the f***ing dawn of time but like these days they have to have f***ing microtransactions for every single thing ever the shit I hear for Diablo 4 and the shit I hear for Overwatch I, I, I cannot get over Overwatch I f***ing hate it I love the game so much I f***ing love Overwatch I've been playing that shit since 2016 bro but oh my god I'm just gonna, I'm just ranting about video games. But now, video games are becoming good again. With the rise of Power World, weirdly, and Helldivers 2, these two games, for a price that's fair, is f***ing amazing. Not to mention the legendary Tekken 8. Or oh, Tekken 8. That's how you should pronounce it because Tekken 8 is actually the Americanization of the word Tekken in Tekken. I f love Tekken 8, man. I, I, I want to play the game. I've just been listening to the soundtrack and I want to play the game so badly. I spent hours in Tekken 7 and I love the game. I just need to get good things. I need more space to play Tekken 8. How so much, dude? And with the success of Power in Helldivers 2, it makes me really, really happy that a company like Arrowhead Studios get to have as much recognition as it does. And what a chat CEO, man, and chat employees in general, by the way. They listen to the feedback of the players and try to implement that as fast as possible in the game. When the game first released, servers for f at full capacity from 400,000 players Boom, instantly, almost f***ing max. Do you need to wait for queue for a damn long time? I joined in around the time when they already fixed the servers and uh, max capacity is 700,000 players now, which is amazing, thank goodness for that. More please. <laughs> but yeah, y'all legends. If, it, if somehow they're watching this video, thank you for your time and hard work on this amazing game. And I am hoping for even more success for your company in the future. If the CEO is watching this, I know he's a chat bro. <laughs> I, I, he watches Formula 1 too. And I, I can tell that me and him both agree that the new Formula season is a f bore. Uh, I wonder who wins. Max Verstappen. Crystal clear communication between the devs and the fans of the game really elevates Arrowhead Studio as a top tier gaming company and to go back on the sense of community is the fact that they made such a they made a planet like have stories and lore behind them like for, for example Malevolent Creek just uttering that name give me PTSD because <laughs> you go in uh, why Malevolent Creek is so popular and is deemed the space Vietnam is because low-level players who will has done no missions or whatsoever, just pop into Malevolent Creek. And the difference between fighting the automatons and the bugs or the determinants, they're so called, of night and day. Like, the automatons are tough, but we are better. Take them back, Helldivers. Take back Malevolent Creek. I think one time we did manage to somehow take it back, but then, pfft, then Joe came around, pfft, take it back. And then now there's still, to this day, a few thousand players always in Malevolent Creek trying to essentially take back their planets 
and that sense of involvement in the community is perfect. I love it, and I, uh, that's all. That's all I have to say for Hell Divers 2 right now. I, I love it. It's amazing. It's so fun. It's forty dollars in the U.S. and it's uh, about a thousand four hundred baht in the Thai baht, and it is so worth. This game can suck you in, man. When especially when you're just fighting and helping people, or you're playing alone, and you feel like a badass fighting alone. It's amazing. It's good fun. Worth your money. So come join us, Hell Divers. Come help Super Earth and have the courage to be free. ผมขออย่างหนึ่งเรียกร้องเฮลไดเวอร์ทุกคนที่อยู่ในประเทศไทยประชาชนทุกคนที่จะต่อสู้เพื่อประชาธิปไตยพวกเรารอคุณอยู่ครับ